So this is a center lane, it's a center lane. Why it's called a center lane? Because it has a center at the either ends. But in place of the center, uh, life center, we have been fixed a three jaws of self-centering chuck in order to hold the workplace. The first part of a uh, machine tool, lane machine tool, is the base. So base forms, uh, forms the foundation of a machine tool. At the top of the base, there is a guideway. You can see there is a two guideway. One is a flat guideway and there is an inverted guideway, which is used to support the carriage as well as the tail stop. The second part of the lathe machine tool is the head stop, which contains all the driving mechanisms required to drive the workpiece or to rotate the workpiece. Exactly opposite to the head stop, there is a portion called as a tail stop, which has been used to support the other end of the workpiece, and not only for that, it is also used in order to hold the cutting tools such as counter sinking tool or twist drills in order to create a conical or circular holes. The next part is the carriage assembly part. So here you can see the head-shaped casting which is called as a saddle. Above the saddle, there is a cross slide which will move perpendicular to the lathe axis. Above that, we have a compound slide in order to give them a very minute feed rate as well as this used to turn the taper also. Above that, we have a tool post, four-way tool post wherein you can fix four different tools on the tool post. The last one is the driving and feeding mechanisms where you can find some find here where it will be used for the automatic cutting of a threads or automatic feed mechanism. Here is a screw rod which has been engaged and also can be used as a feed rod since the slot is cut on the screw rod. So this is about the uh, basic, uh, basic parts of a lathe machine tool. So now our instructor Chidambar is also demonstrating the facing operation wherein if you observe the workpiece, the three-fourth of the workpiece inside the chuck and a cutting tool is fed at an angle with respect to the workpiece. So in this case, the carriage is being get arrested so that there is no linear movement for the cutting tool. Uh, only a cutting tool will be fed perpendicular to the axis of the work workpiece.
if you observe the entire surface is completely flat so there i have a surface which is perpendicular to the workpiece so now we are going to demonstrate about the counter sinking operation so first the dead center should be removed from the workpiece and a counter sink tool should be fixed into the tail stock spindle then it will be brought nearer to the workpiece make sure that cutting tool is not touching the workpiece and the tail stock should be locked to the lathe bed and spindle lock should be open so that it can be fed easily to the workpiece now switch on the machine and slowly move the cutting tool or counter sink tool so that it you can it can able to drill a conical hole at the end of the newly faced side now if you observe there is a conical hole which is created at the a faced surface hmm. so now if you observe the work piece the three fourth of the work piece is outside so only the one third of the work piece will be fixed inside the chuck and the other end is resting on the a tail stock center so now here the cutting tool will be moved parallel to the lathe axis always make sure that the work piece will be moved towards the work uh, operator observe the operator here he is giving a feed continuously without stopping so that there will be no burrs or threads which will be formed on the cylindrical surface so once the depth is being given depth can be increased in steps the first pass is done now the operator is giving the second depth which you can able to see clearly here you can see the shiny surface is a newly created surface the one with the dull in color silver shiny color that is the earlier plain surface and the surface which is black in color is the unmissed surface so take back the cutting tool once the required plane turning is operation is over take back the cutting tool before you switching off the machine no 
now observe here the surface which you can see which is in silver in color is newly machined surface or turned surfaces and which you are observing here which is in black in color is the unmachined surface so this is the brief de demonstration about facing counter sinking and plane turning thank you for watching